In this video, I'm going to show you an overview of Powtoon, and it's a great tool that can be used for presentations. Everything's video oriented, but it looks very similar to a PowerPoint. And if you've used PowerPoint and Prezi in the past and you want something different, then this is a great tool uh, that you can use yourself or with your students. So you just go to Powtoon.com. Uh, it's free. So there is a paid version, but there's a free version that does pretty much everything you need to do. Just click log in. This is a nice tool. It connects to your Google account. So I'm just going to click on the G+, select my account, and then I'll be able to log into my account and create a Powtoon, which is just a different project or presentation. So these are all the ones that I've already created. If you want to create one from scratch, you won't see those in the beginning. So I'm going to click on Create. And this will take you to your templates. You have lots of different templates on the left-hand side here to choose from. I'm just going to choose one that's already ready to go for me, and it takes a few seconds uh, to create that. So while that creates, there are some templates that are premium, and that's a paid feature, so you just have to be aware of that. It has a little ribbon on the side there. Uh, let's go to skip this. And then this is what everything looks like. So it's very much PowerPoint-like. So it has your slides on the left-hand side here. If you want to add a slide, you just click the plus. You get another slide. Every slide has a time limit. So I clicked on this slide, and this has 10 seconds. So if I want to add more seconds to an individual slide, I just click the plus here. Or if I want to subtract a few seconds, just click the minus. So I'll go down to 8 seconds for that slide. So once I click on that slide, you'll see that there's four objects on the slide. So this little red bar shows when objects appear and disappear, or like at six seconds for this slide, this is what is going to be displayed at eight seconds, at two seconds, at one second, and so on. So nothing's there at zero seconds. Then these objects at the bottom, this comes in as they come into the slide. These will be in order on how they come in. So this object, the sun, appears at one second and leaves at 10 seconds. So if I wanted to change that, let's say I want it to come in at one and a half seconds and leave at six seconds, I would just drag the edges here. So that's nice, very easy to manipulate. The transition in terms of how it comes in is right here. I'm going to have it come in from the bottom and go up, and then I'm going to the transition out, I'm going to have it go down, sort of like a sunrise and sunset. And then when I go to play it, I'm going to put it back to zero, click the play over here, so these are your controls. And you can see that the sun came up, and at six seconds, the sun should actually come back down right here. Bam. Just like that. All right, we'll pause that. If you want to get, I'm going to go to the second slide here, if you want to get some objects or props in there, over here, there's lots of different folders. Every other one is a free one. So hands, let's say I wanted this hand, I would just drag something in. Now I have a hand that I can work with, and the same thing applies to all different objects and text. So I'll put the hand there, maybe something like that. If I wanted to add text, I can add text. You can add the color to it, or change its size, or its font, and then you have some other options there as well. Move it around, everything is drag and drop. And once you're ready, um, you can place it where you want, and you get, again, all the same options. So when do you want it to appear? When do you want it to leave this individual slide? Drag more text in. Uh, sound, you can add sound in the background. I won't go over that. Image, this is nice. So let's say you, uh, you have some already ready to go, but you can also do a media search on Flickr. And let's say I wanted a hand, so just like the one that I already drug in, and I don't know, I'll choose this one. Preview that image, and now I have that image actually in my presentation. So there we go, resize it, put it where I want, and again, it's down here. Once you are ready to share it, you can actually go to Preview, and this will give you a link on what it actually looks like or you can click on export and share your project you can do it with YouTube or Vistia but if not you can just go and click next click standard next select the category whatever category you want put in your description and tags 
click publish and then this will take you to another screen and this is where you have different options of sharing it or just copy this and share it with your teacher to turn it in.